oscilloscope. So what we have here is an oscilloscope. We're going to use this oscilloscope to measure the RS-45 signals right down here at the controller. This is a process controller and it's communicating on a digital network <coughs> using RS-45 communication. I want to read the voltage pulses of the RS-45 signals. But here's the problem. If I take a look at my oscilloscope probe, my normal oscilloscope probe, you'll see here at the probe I have a probe connection and I have a ground connection. Remember with oscilloscopes, this ground connection actually goes to the chassis ground of the scope, which goes to the power ground, the earth safety ground. That's going to be a problem for us because if I make a connection right across my RS-45 communications with probe and ground, I'm going to be forcing one line of that to be a ground potential. That could easily cause signal reflection problems and other errors that we really don't want to have. So I want to be able to measure the voltage across there without forcing one of those terminals to go to ground potential. That's our problem. Fortunately, there's a solution. If we take a look at the oscilloscope, we notice several vertical modes. One of them here is channel one. So in channel one mode, we can take a look at the voltage on channel one. On, uh, if we go here to channel two, we're looking at the voltage coming in on channel two. If we go to dual, you see both channels at the same time. And most students are familiar with these first three settings, channel one, channel two, and dual. We're gonna use a special one called add. What this does in the add mode, it takes whatever voltage I have on one channel and adds it to the voltage on the other channel. We're gonna throw one more twist in here. We're going to come over here, and there, on this particular scope, there's a setting right there called invert. I'm gonna pull that out. What that means is whatever signal comes in channel two is gonna be made upside down. So now when I'm adding channel one to an inverted channel two, that's the same thing as taking this minus that, the difference between the two inputs. So now watch what I can do. Here are now my two test terminals, channel one, channel two, and I'm measuring the difference between. I do not have to use a ground connection. Mm. I can even pull this off, and I've got a fully differential measurement. So now I can read voltage with my scope without using a ground connection. So let's see if we can actually make the connection here. And uh, go ahead and stop the camera.